Hello from Washington, D.C., where today I'm going to be using Momdyne to simulate the motion of a rotating T-handle bar in zero Gs, similar to that which existed in a fairly famous video taken from the space station. So I'm going to call this model the spinning handle. It's going to be a rotating body in zero G. So likewise, we're going to leave the gravity method constant direction by the default. I'm going to make the time duration just a little bit longer so that we can actually see some stuff. And set the tolerance smaller so that the animation will be just a tad bit smoother. Uh, the approximate size of the T-handle, about 10 centimeters. That's just a, a guess based upon viewing the video, which I'll link in the comments. And I'm going to slow down the video to quarter speed, 0 0.25. All right, so there's my blank slate. First thing I'll do is add a free motion joint. So with the initial T naught, which is the dimension, or the, yeah, the vector dimension in the X direction, and as well as the, in the Y direction, I'm going to give it a value of 0 0.1. That's really only to offset the point from the origin of the reference of the inertial frame and then but most importantly when i get down here to the rate r naught which is the omega x term i'm going to give that a large value of 25 radians per second and for r1 i give that a much smaller value 0 0.1 get the check mark very good and now i'm going to add my bodies from which i build the t handle so first i'm going to add a cylinder this is a new feature in the latest release I'm going to put it at the point and the frame that we just created, uh, the A point and the A frame from the free motion joint. Looking at the video, my best guess is that's probably a chunk of aluminum that they're spinning. So give it a density of 2,700 kilograms per meter cubed. And I'd say the length looks like about 5 centimeters, 0 0.05. And the radius looks like about half a centimeter. So the, the diameter of the cylinder that makes up the handle is about 0 0.005. And attach it to the four. And before I forget, I'm going to give it the name. We're going to give this one the name H for handle. Okay, great. And we can see the new cylinder there. If you rotate it into the 3D isometric view, you can make out the fact that that's a cylinder. So now the next thing I'm going to do is actually add a rigid body box just for sake of showing that we can combine two bodies. I'm going to give it the name T uh, because it's the T part of the T handle. Likewise, connect it to the point A and the frame A. This one I'm going to attach to its own aft axis. Still going to call it aluminum, so density of 2700. Give it a length. It looked like the forward part of the... Uh, the T-handle was about 2 centimeters wide, so I'm going to give it a length of 0 0.02, a width. Now, for this part, I'm gonna, I would estimate this to be about 10 centimeters wide based upon my observation of the video. So the width will be 0 0.1, and then the height to complete the body will also be about uh, 2 centimeters. There we go, and now we can see uh, what looks a little bit like Thor's hammer there. So I hit the play button, which will start deriving the equations of motion. That'll take just a few seconds. Da, 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 da. All right, and now we can simulate it. We can see the progress in the lower right fairly quick. And if we hit the play button, you can see it rotating, flipped on along its axis flip back again uh, just like what you saw in the space station video albeit slowed down a bit and we can see if we check out the report we can see that characteristic simulation plot for the uh, the angular rates uh, with the initially unstable rotation in x that flips uh, switches sign completely and then the corresponding motion in the omega y and omega z terms so there you have it um, 
wanted to note a couple new features in this model. So we, in the latest revision, which will be out in a few days, I've done a fair amount of uh, updates to the to the aesthetic part. So you can see the tabs on the lower uh, lower side of the screen, and also the the rigid body cylinder is a new feature. Uh, adding on a little bit from there, there's also a rigid body cone, very similar to the rigid body cylinder feature, just with a with a pointy end, if you will. Um, so there you go. Um, that's unstable rigid body motion demonstrated, simulated in Momdyne, and uh, replicating something that we've saw in the space station. So I hope you come back. I'll, I'll link the uh, the corresponding videos. There's also a, a Google Collaboratory notebook that I've used for generating the cylinder anim animation that might be interesting to you. And uh, I hope you will join the beta test and uh, download the app with a public release coming in the very near future.